When using Power Apps, there is a difference between a complex field and a standard field. Now, typically when we use this item, we get the less complex fields, the non-complex fields. So let's look at the list itself. A complex field may be a category where you actually have a drop-down menu to select, right? So what does this all mean when we have to select this information and how do these complex fields work within Power Apps? This is a brief video, give you a real easy to use shortcut to be able to get through these complex fields, so stay tuned. So here we have the list itself, and we've already seen this is the complex field. Here, this is just, a, these are standard text fields in here. But this field right here, we're gonna focus on this choice field or drop down menu. So when we go over here to our Power App itself, so you can create this Power App if you like here. It's a basic gallery. Now, this is part of another video on grouping and doing nested galleries, but the point is easily taken here. We're, we're inside of this gallery three. We've clicked on this here for the first record, and now this is a field that we've pulled over called title. And if we go over here, there's title right there, okay? Now we're gonna copy this field by doing a control C and control V. Notice the new label appeared right there. Now, we don't want title anymore, but we want this field here, category. So let's go ahead and do category here. I'm just gonna type in category, and it's nice, it shows up, right? So we're gonna hit the tab key and to accept it, but it's showing a red line underneath it, meaning that it can't support the data within this field. So to get rid of this, here's the trick. We just put in dot and hit the tab key again for value. And now we see the value of the field itself right there. Notice here, this one is note. And if we wanted to add another field here, for example, we can erase this and we can say um, action done, for example, again, this was the only complex one because it's a select field, a choice field. And here you can see all we have to do is put the dot value at the end.